An inverted pyramid is being filled with water at a constant rate of 25 cubic centimeters per second. The pyramid at the top has a shape of a square with sides of length 5 centimeters, and the height is 8 centimeters, as pictured below. Again, we have an upside down pyramid where the base is a 5 by 5 centimeter square, and the height is 8 centimeters. And it's being filled with water at a constant rate of 25 cubic centimeters per second. We're asked to find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water level is 2 centimeters. So to begin, let's let the height of the water level be h, this length here, and we'll let the base of the water level be an x by x square. So this is x, this is x, and so on. The volume formula for a pyramid is volume equals one-third length times width times height, where length times width is the area of the base, and of course h is the height. And because we're dealing with the volume of the water, in our case, length times width is x times x, and the height is h, indicating the volume of the water v is equal to one-third times the area of the base, which is x squared, times the height h. Now let's also list all the given information. The pyramid is being filled with water at a constant rate of 25 cubic centimeters per second, which means dv dt, the change in the volume with respect to time, equals positive 25 cubic centimeters per second. And we're looking for the rate at which the water level is rising when the water level is two centimeters. The rate at which the water level is rising is indicated by dh dt, because we use the variable h for the height of the water, and we know h is equal to two centimeters, or that's when we're trying to find dh dt. Now going back over to our volume formula, we need to write the volume formula in terms of just h, not x and h, because we're looking for dh dt when h is two. We can do this by looking directly from the side of the pyramid. When we do this, we'll see two similar triangles as pictured below where the height of the large triangle is eight centimeters. The height of the small triangle at the bottom is eight centimeters. The width at the top is five centimeters. And this width here is indicated by the base of the water, and therefore this would be x. And now from here we can find a proportion because we have similar triangles. We can find a proportion using corresponding dimensions. We can say that eight is to h as five is to x. And now we can use this equation or proportion, solve for x, and perform a substitution in the volume formula. We can either multiply both sides by hx or cross multiply. Either way, we'll get eight x equals five h. And if eight x equals five h, and we divide both sides by eight, we now know that x is equal to 5 eighths times h. And now I can perform a substitution into the volume formula. We can say the volume v equals 1 third times the square of x, but the square of x is the same as the square of 5 eighths h times h. This gives us the volume v is equal to, well, the square of 5 eighths is 25 sixty-fourths. One-third times 25 sixty-fourths gives us 25 divided by 192. And then we have h squared times h, giving us h cubed. Now that we have the volume v in terms of h, we differentiate both sides with respect to t. This gives us the derivative with respect to t of v equals the derivative with respect to t of 25 divided by 192 h cubed. On the left, the derivative of v with respect to t is dv dt. On the right, when differentiating 25 divided by 192 h cubed with respect to t, we need to apply the chain rule. We first differentiate with respect to h, so we multiply by three, which gives us 75 divided by 192 and then h to the power of three minus one, giving a power of two, and then times dh dt. And remember here, we're solving for dh dt when h is equal to two centimeters, and dv dt is equal to 25 cubic centimeters per second. So now we can substitute 
25 for dBdt, which gives us 25 equals 75 divided by 192 times h squared, which is really just 2 squared, and then times dH dt. And now we can determine the rate at which the water level is rising by solving for dH dt. Let's first simplify here on the right. We have 25 equals 2 squared is 4. 4 times 75 is equal to 300, giving us 300 divided by 192 times dH dt. And I'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 300 divided by 192, which is 192 divided by 300. Notice on the right side, multiplying the two fractions, we simply get 1 dH dt, indicating dH dt is equal to 192 divided by 300 times 25. If we want 25 over 1, simplifying, there's 1 25 and 25, there's 12 25s in 300, and 192 divided by 12 is equal to 16, which indicates dH dt is equal to 16, which is the rate at which the water level is rising, and therefore the units would be centimeters per second. Let's write this as a complete sentence. The water level is rising, at a rate of 16 centimeters per second when the water level is two centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.